Welcome back to Airborne Productions. We are here in the Harbor Freight 10 by 12 greenhouse for a little bit of an update. If you recall last time, we had just gotten the greenhouse set up. We're still adding a couple things. We just got everything planted. Now it's months beyond when we started and uh, even months beyond when we started harvesting as well. So we planted everything around late May. So it's like I said, well beyond when we started picking and even finished picking. There's a couple little things here. The eggplants still have some time to go, but most everything is pretty well done. Yeah, there's a few little tomatoes in here. We ended up very pleased with our results and we produced quite a bit of produce. Produce. Yesterday my brother trimmed these guys back, but this is the star of the show. Super sweet 100 tomatoes. Guys, these things are like candy. We got a whole bowl of them. So much. And we would just walk in here and pick them here and there. And I mean, they are so, so, so sweet. That is a must have for anybody who wants to do a, a small gardening setup. But all the tomatoes in general, we had quite a few different varieties. Holy cow. Yeah, obviously this will all get cleaned up uh, for the next time around. But it just goes to show, we really got quite a bit of stuff. Still another tomato. These guys back here that are all empty, these were our cucumbers. One of the most impressive parts of this thing. And one of our cucumbers had to be two feet long. It was freaking huge. That thing was bigger than my arm. Some more eggplants buried in there somewhere. Did I mention how good these are? You can also see a couple more empty plants uh, with a couple here and there. Uh, these are our bell peppers. Another awesome producer. I mean, I would just snack on these things whole. They are so, so, so good. So as far as the plants go, we are so pleased with them. We got so many fruits and veggies. It was really nice just being able to walk in here and snack on anything whenever we please. Uh, we also threw them together and cooked some meals with veggies. And I highly recommend it. I mean, it just doesn't taste this good from the store. And we did everything completely organic. Everything from our feed to our plants, obviously, every single part of this system. And as we speak, we're rewatering. Now, as far as the greenhouse itself, uh, most of it's the same. We did add a couple little things. For example, we have this fan here with the thermostat right there. So if it does get too hot, that fan will kick on. Uh, paired with the roof fence, which have the, the whatever automatic uh, system where, again, if it gets too hot, they'll open up, let some air circulate. We also strung out these lines to control the growth of our plants. That helped a lot. We also have this misting setup that wasn't quite set up before goes all the way up and around all the way back down to keep everything hydrated and probably one of the most significant additions you notice there's a screen over this bucket <laughs> the reason is we got a fish we were having some algae build up and to solve that we bought a placostomous placostomous fish uh, pleco or plaque or whatever they call them. And we call them Picasso. I mean, seriously, what better name to give your Picossimus than Picasso? It's awesome. Basically, he cleans up our algae. Ever since getting him, we clean up our bucket very nicely. We keep the screen over it to keep him from jumping out. I don't know if they do or not, but. So as far as the general setup of the greenhouse, it's basically how it was the last time we checked in we had a couple little things to update but we're basically going to keep it how it is uh, in the future do the same kind of thing get more plants growing more fruit producing fruits and veggies see what we can grow if you have any questions at all please feel free to comment and let us know we'd be happy to do our best to answer them we are by no means professionals but so far our first harvest has been pretty good and we are very satisfied with the produce that we produced I'm considering doing a video on how exactly to build this. We're starting with the bucket, 
drilling the hole in the fitting, the tubing, everything. We used filling it with perlite and this netting to catch it, everything. So if you're interested in that, please let me know. Uh, and if there's enough interest, I definitely will do a follow up on exactly how to build this from start to finish. Well, that's a wrap. We plan on doing more videos about this greenhouse as we continue to learn and grow and harvest. It's very exciting. So please subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you next time. Thanks.